Hey guys, welcome to griffomedia.com. This is my YouTube channel and the month is January and I'm doing something this month that I do every year and something the Brits fondly call dry January, which means for the first month of the year, you cleanse your soul and you give up the grog, which means no beer, wine or spirits, champagne, Prosecco, whatever you drink for a whole month. It can be a bit of a challenge. I've got used to it now. I do it this time every year. Actually, a few years ago, it turned into dry January, February, March and part of April as well. But then soon I was, you know, dragged to the dark side. So every single January, I look for a beer that's actually going to give me the feeling that I'm drinking a real beer. And there's lots of companies now that have jumped on the bandwagon in doing alcohol-free beer. There's a few there in front of me, uh, but there's also Cobra and Moretti and Brewdog and a few others that are making alcohol-free beer. And it's really accessible now in supermarkets and on Amazon. Uh, the few that I've got here and I've tried is Budweiser Prohibition. They launched this just over a year ago in the UK. And actually, not a bad summer drink. I did try it in July when I gave up some beer for a couple of weeks. Um, and it actually does taste a little bit close to the original, minus the little deep alcohol taste. Budweiser, for me, is not a very flavoursome beer, in fairness. A uh, bit watery, isn't it? Uh, but it is quite refreshing in the summer. Um, when I go to America, it kind of is my go-to beer, that Michelob. So that actually is not a bad beer and uh, if I was to rate out a five I'd probably give him that a good three three to four uh, for its kind of mirrored Budweiser taste um, it's almost like a Bud Light uh, let's say maybe like you know if you're talking soft drinks you know Coke Zero get that that kind of thing between Diet Coke and full fat Coke where you're getting a quite a, a distinctive taste of the original that's what that does for me. So we'll put that to one side. Um, then you've got Frankenscone. And now I do like wheat beers. It's very seasonal for me. In the winter, wheat beer with a roaring fire is just winter all over. And one of my favourites is Frankenscone. And when I had a perfect draft machine, which is the draft beer from Philips, they make this on the kegs uh, for perfect draft. It's got banana hints. It's, it's just a really, really nice beer to drink. And... Um, They've done an alcohol-free version. Tried that at the weekend. That's why there's no top on it. And you know what? A little bit close to the original. Um, I got halfway through the bottle, though, and then I'm, you know, kind of not wanting any more, uh, which is kind of generally the case with alcohol-free beers, to be honest with you. One of the best of the bunch is Erdinger. I love the Erdinger vase-style glass. Uh, I've got quite a few of them in my glass cupboard. I could probably pull one down. But it's got isotonics in there too, and it's probably one of the better of the alcohol-free beers. I do highly recommend the Erdinger. Again, a lot of these come in bottles, but the Erdinger actually comes in 500ml cans on Amazon as well. Again, one of those beers that you could probably only drink one and have no more. It's one of those, really. I mentioned the other variety of brands. Peroni do one. Not a fan. I came across this recently. Heineken Zero Zero, and a mate of mine said to me, he said, listen, Griffo, have one of those and you won't know the difference. It's almost like the Coke and Pepsi taste test from back in the 80s. He, he challenged me, he said, you will not know the difference between real Heineken and Heineken that's got no alcohol. So I tried it and I disagreed with him. Um, it's not a bad beer. It's obviously Zero Zero. Uh, but there's a bit of an aftertaste with it out of the cans and the bottles. Uh, for those of you who follow my channel, I'm just going to back off a little bit here. I do have the Heineken Blade, which is a beer machine that enables you to put 14 pint kegs, they're 8 litres, onto a machine that looks really nice. Uh, they're designed for cafe bars, but you can buy them for the home. And they also do Heineken Zero Zero amongst regular full alcohol Tiger, Moretti and Heineken and they do this as well so I thought I'd treat myself to a keg so what I'm going to do here is pour a pint first pint of draft alcohol free beer who else does that let's try it here on the channel I'll let you know what I think so I'm going to try a pint of Heineken Zero Zero on draft and let you know what it tastes and if it tastes any different to the bottle or the can uh, it's going to pour nice, no doubt. It's a draft beer, fresh tap. Here we go. So 
there we go. Draft Heineken 00, zero chilled to two degrees C. That's it there. And I'm gonna give it a drink right now. Do you know what? As it's from draft, it does taste a little bit nicer than out of the can of the bottle, but I'm still getting that really weird aftertaste. You know when you have medicine as a kid and you try to disguise what the taste is doing? I think that's that's kind of it really. You take a sip of it, and before the actual taste hits in, you think, I'm drinking beer here, obviously subliminally, you've got a beer in your hand and you, the placebo effect, I guess, is going to hit. But then the aftertaste kicks in and that is what makes this not the greatest alcohol-free beer for me. If I was to rate the ones I've tried so far, I'm probably going to go with the Erdinger. But anyway, guys, uh, chin chin. Thanks for watching. If you're doing dry January, keep it up. Not long left, of course. Couple of weeks. Um, I might do three months. Who knows? Cheers, guys.